What's up, you guys? I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you're new here, my name's Julie, and I'm a novice who's working towards making my fantasy wardrobe a reality. I made an outfit for me last video, so I figured I would return the favor and make Lyle a lounging outfit. Uh, because he has these pants from this company that is absolutely impossible to find and they do not sell pants anymore, but they are his favorite pants and he thrifted them like years ago. They have this really soft material. It's almost like if you put, and it's gonna, this isn't gonna make sense, but it's almost like if you put an ITY and a, a double brushed together it's very nice, but it's got like these, this yoke in the back, and then the seam on the side here isn't actually on the side. It's more, um, it's more to the front of the pants. Here's the seam, it's more to the front of the pants. And I think he really likes that, and they've got a nice like knee detail too, where they, or halfway down the, down the front, they've got another seam that connects it to the front. Oh, hi! And he just absolutely loves those pants. So I'm gonna try to recreate that using a technique that I saw in a video, I'll be linking it down below, where you use pins to poke the individual pattern pieces onto paper and then trace it. So that's what we're gonna do today on his pants and we'll also be making a shirt as well. So stay tuned for all of that. I'm gonna be following a tutorial I found on YouTube. I'm gonna leave the link below so you can go check it out. But how she does it is she uses pins to trace everything so you lay it out and they poke pins through the paper so that you can see exactly where the pattern pieces are um, and I think that's genius so I'm gonna do that with each pattern piece however it's gonna be a little difficult with these with these pants because the seams don't exactly line up front and back properly they sort of wrap around a little bit so if this is if these pins are exactly sideways then this seam comes here not here if that, if you can see that. So it's definitely gonna take a little bit of maneuvering. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to make pattern pieces for it this way. And I'm gonna have to make pattern pieces this way as well, just to get all of the pieces. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I am also adding a quarter inch seam allowance all the way up, um, all the way around the outside end of this pattern, so. Okay, but like, do y'all see? Do y'all see what, what kind of shenanigans this little turkey gets up to? Ben! I know it's you! Hi, what are you doing under there? I don't know. I don't know what to do anymore about him. He's the most ridiculous cat. Love him, but like, hey, that's my leg. You get my, you're being cute, but you get my leg, it's gonna go from cute to, to, to real upset very quickly. That's how we get banned from the sewing room. on the waistband. I need to double this pattern uh, this way and then cut out two of these. And I need to cut some more pockets. Uh, if you can hear that whirring in the background, that's this thing. It is so cold in our house. It's so, so cold. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do that. Four and a half inches. Mm -hmm. oh my Are you helping? 
Did you know you're not very helpful? Love you, but like not very helpful. You're cute though. Dang lucky you're so cute. I think I'm gonna start with the front pant leg first because it's got these two pieces that are sewn together. And they have this very neat uh, seam detailing that I'm gonna try and mimic. I'm going to um, take this messed up waistband because I need to make it bigger. And I'm gonna sew the two pieces together and try a top stitch and see if that'll give me the detail that I'm looking for. This is what we're gonna go with, Oops. is the seam detailing right here. I'm trying to get a good angle. So I'm just gonna top stitch it a bit over, not quite on that on that top stitch. On all of the seams to get that pretty detailing. So yeah, I think I'm gonna start with the front legs first and I think I'm gonna iron each piece before I put it together just cause it, it rolls. They roll. They, this fabric, it, it's rolling. So yeah, I'm gonna start there. So the two front pant legs together on both. And then we'll see where we're gonna go from there. I have elastic coming today. So I can't do the waistband until later, but I want to get everything up to there done. So yeah, let's do it. Uh, I completely forgot that I need to be drafting a pocket for this, with this, uh, words, I'm having a hard time today. Uh, with this in it, the curve of the pocket and one without to go behind. Uh, so I'm going to do that on this pattern piece and I'm just gonna cut, I'm just gonna cut this, I'm gonna line it up like so. And then I'm gonna cut this piece here and then cut two of my uh, pockets mirrored to fit this so that that can be the front of the pocket seam. So it'll look like this when it's done and have a really nice pocket. So I'm gonna go do that right now and yeah. I'll also link all the tutorials that I'm following uh, down below because uh, I need them. So if you need them as well, I've never made pants before. Ooh, so, um, and it's, it's very intimidating to me. So uh, yeah, try something new today. Do something that makes you uncomfortable. And if you need help, I'll leave all the patterns, that, all the tutorials that I followed below because you can pretty much learn anything on the internet. You got this. Now I'm gonna be doing the pockets. Uh, I have cut out the front of the pockets and the side of the pockets, and then I have the pant legs to apply the pockets to. Nope, that's the wrong side. The pant leg to apply the pockets to. So I'll do this one first, and then we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so I have these pockets lined up, and now I'm just gonna sew across here. Now I'm gonna sew this line all the way down here. So I have the other pocket piece pinned now to the back of the pocket and I'm just gonna sew around the pocket pocket. Next we are going to align the back pattern piece with the front pattern pieces. Uh, so in, we are gonna take four pieces and make them two pieces with the backs and fronts connected. I hope that made sense. Uh, yeah, and I'm hoping that these pockets work out. This is how they turned out. And I'm not 100% sure I did it right. It, it was a little, it was a little weird. It felt a little weird. That's how it kind of turned out. I, I genuinely don't know if I did it right or not, but I guess we'll see us as, we'll see as things progress. The elastic came. I just ordered it off Amazon. That's what that's what's easiest, but it's it is really nice elastic. And the next thing I'm going to be doing is sewing up the pant leg, put the seams together, and sew up to the the crotch seam. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them together, both of them, sew it up, do the uh, top stitch seam detailing, and then I will move towards putting them together. And it would not be a video with me if I didn't have to use my seam ripper. That's okay, mistakes help us learn. Uh, I completely forgot about the back yoke and to um, adjust sizing for the back yoke. So uh, I gotta take, um, I have to take the side seams out and readjust and then sew them back up. 
uh, so that I have room for that yoke in place. My bad. All right, let's do that. Okay, so I'm cozy in my in my jammies, no judgment, but I got the seams all ripped and sewn back up and now I'm going to put the pants together and then I'm gonna sew on the back piece that I forgot previously and then do the waistband. And then hopefully he likes them. Mm. Okay, so I have uh, the pants sewn together. It's actually really easy. I was really terrified that was going to be so hard. Uh, but now I have this back piece pinned on and I'm going to pin it on the waistband first and then uh, flip it up and pin it up. The, sew it up the sides here and then we will add our waistband. Yeah, let's do it. And the pants are done. I am so proud of them. They definitely, the waistband could have been better for sure. Uh, that was probably the hardest part. I did sew in a, um, uh, a flat piece just because his pants do have that. Uh, that could have also been sewn a bit better. Um, but I'm really proud of them. They came out, you know, pretty good for my first time ever making pants from, 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 not, not even just my first time making pants. Cause yes, this is my first time making pants. I was very scared to do so before. Uh, but my first time making my own pattern from something too. So that was really scary. Uh, and it turned out really good. I'm so proud of these pockets. Oh, I'm so proud of the pockets. Cause yeah, they, they turned out really well. And they look, they look very similar. The waistband definitely is a little different. Um, but overall, the fabric is different, definitely a little different. Like this fabric is a lot more softer and it was a lot more difficult to work with. Um, I definitely need practice in the waistband area. I know there's a better way to do it. I'm just not sure what it is. So I will have to do some research and come back to that because I imagine this isn't the only pair that I'm going to be making. Um, so yeah. Okay, now that we have the pants done, the tops came in. So this is the top that I'm going to be making a pattern from. And I'm going to do it a little differently with the top, whereas with the pants, I didn't really want to take them apart because they're Lyle's favorite pants. <laughs> I wasn't going to risk that. But I did make the pattern by poking uh, pinholes into paper. I'm going to actually take this shirt apart because it was... Um, he bought three of them and this was the one that he didn't like. So I'm, yeah, I'm just going to take it all apart and uh, try and put stuff in. It's got a black v-neck here, but then it's got these pieces on the side that go in that I just think is really cool. For his shirt fabric, we have this really pretty green um, knit. It's very athletic wear-y, <laughs> slippery. And what I was thinking we'd do is that we'd make this piece um, out of black. We'll figure out what the pieces are when we get them all taken apart and then we'll get to it. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take this apart and I'll be back with all my pieces. I have all of the shirt pieces cut out, um, especially the collar pieces, which is where we're going to start. And what we're going to do is probably iron them in half. <laughs> Say probably because I don't know how well this, this fabric is going to iron. And then we're going to sew them together like this. The black's gonna be a little shorter than the green because I'm making the, un the under V green with the black just going around the collar. Uh, so it's gonna be a little shorter because it's gonna sew into the collar like this, but we're gonna fold them in half and iron them and then we're gonna, and then I'm going to uh, uh, stitch them together. And then I'm gonna make the rest of the shirt. So <laughs> I'm gonna just sew up the sides the way I normally would and then sew in. I think I'm gonna sew the armhole seam first and then sew the sides so that I don't have to worry about folding it in and doing a circle. I'll just do it all at once and then doing a hem and then we'll put the collar on. So it's going to be really short, really easy. So the black ends here and sews into the neckband and then these are going to meet like so in a V. I hope that makes sense. Okay, let's, let's sew.
I had to take this back a little bit because I didn't know I needed to sew these two pieces together for the neckline and I may have to take the whole thing apart. I'm not sure. So I'm going to try and make it work because this should be on the outside and coming in and then these should be together. So I'm going to try and make this work that way so I don't have to pull it apart, but I might have to pull it apart. Um, and then I'm going to sew the v-neck. I'll post the tutorial in, in the description that I used for this because I've never done a v-neck. And yeah, let's get this done. I did it. Look at how nice this looks. Oh my goodness, that was so much easier than I thought it was gonna be. Now I just have to sew this on like I would a collar and then it is done. And then I can go and try everything on and show you guys. So let's do that. And it's done. I am actually really proud of how this turned out. This V could have been a bit easier and a bit pointier, but uh, it was not cooperating with me. It was slipping around. So I wish I had made the, the, the V neck band that sews in just a little bit wider so that I would have more room to play with. Um, but other than that, it looks great. I love this like black co uh, collar uh, accent. I am just really proud of it and I hope he loves it. So when he gets home, I'm gonna go and try everything on and then we'll see how he, what he thinks. Okay, so I finally have him here and he's going to try on, he's trying on, oh, he's wearing the pants. Ooh, nice. Look at his, don't show me, that's mine. Don't show him your butt. <laughs> Do it for the views, for the content. Yeah, for the content. <laughs> Uh, now he's going to try on a shirt and we're going to see what he thinks. Yeah. What do you think? It's nice. <gasps> it I like the looks material. Really good. The material's really nice. It's really nice. It's a good fit. It's a good fit, yeah. It, it looks really good. It's a little tighter than my bum. That's okay. It shows okay. off your bum. What do you think of the whole outfit? Did I, did I, did I do? You did justice. I like it. You like it? I do like it. That's awesome. That's what matters. That's Going what on sale saying. next week on ccg.com. Okay, let me get out of the way so, so that you, they can do some, do some, do some of these. <sighs> I gotta get back in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>